Suddenly, if you get airborne the first time, when you realize I'm airborne now, you discover that old feeling that is inside you. I think the rules are to be aerospace pilot right now. I can find when uh, I was 16, I started hang gliding together with my father. I think that was the moment where I found out that uh, being in the air, that I just love it, that, uh, that I feel comfortable, and that was more or less the beginning of, uh, of a long career. It's not an air show, it's a race, which means I have to go to my personal limit to be as fast as possible, to be faster than the other one who also goes to his limit. If I exceed my limit, I'm, 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 I'm dead. Uh, nobody wants that. Me, I'm the last one who wants it, so I have to deal with that situation all the time. Uh, everything uh, under high G loads, 10 Gs, 400 kilometers an hour, uh, much more intense, I think, than a Formula One race packed into uh, actually one and a half minutes. You even don't have time to watch your instrument. You don't have time for anything else than just concentrate on the course. You're so much in the course and you try to, to stay in front of your airplane, if you are behind with your mind, then you lost because then you are like, uh, the pylons just come to you and uh, you are lost and you just have to go out of the course. I'm coming from a very grounded, homey place. It's uh, in Austria, it's Styria, it's uh, in the nature. I grew up with nature, I grew up with climbing, mountaineering, and I need that, I need that in my life. I always wanted to go to the highest places uh, wherever I have been. I always wanted to look down somewhere. I always wanted to be in a three-dimensional room and to move and to be free and to, to live this freedom. And um, I, think, I think flying is, is inside me. If there are dreams for me, it's hard to say because for me, I feel sometimes I'm living in a dream and I'm living my dreams and all, the, all day long I'm dreaming. Uh, I have so many things I want to do in life, it's traveling, so many sports that are fascinating for me. But uh, I don't have really like aims, I'm, I'm really like trying to reach them. I just go a little bit with the flow. Well, I think our children are going now. We they do the right thing when we're not around. Beside my sport, beside the life I'm living, I need uh, uh, something different. I need it to recharge my batteries, to get my peace in mind. And that's on the one side, it's like the, the, the time I spend in mountains. And on the other side, it's uh, a completely different environment. I love to be on the ocean. and. Uh, that is like Fiji and Hawaii, those islands. I have friends there. Whenever I can, I just go there and, and relax and try to get away from, from uh, get far away from what I'm doing at Being home. Being trapped above the ceiling, listen to the stories that you tell. Being forced to know... The reason I'm spending uh, so much time, especially over the winter time in Los Angeles, is the weather actually. Uh, it gives me the possibility to train during the winter time. Also, here in the United States is the, I would say, the market of air shows. This means all the manufacturers of engines, of airplanes are here. And we can really work here hard and good to prepare the airplane for the season, uh, to prepare myself. I don't know what will happen in the future. I just know right now I'm doing air racing. It's, uh, it's my life right now. It's a step in my life. But I can tell you what I will do in the future. I think it will be a little bit the opposite of this stressful, competitive world I'm in there right now. It will um, be something connected to my roots, like mountaineering, nature. We'll see what will happen in the future and where we will end up, but I know it will be nice.